lot of the times when we get desperate and when we get hungry and when there's no money, we can be tempted to do a lot of things that we know that we shouldn't do. A lot of very attractive women can be tempted to strip for money. A lot of very attractive men can be tempted to strip for money, to do things that we're, we're not allowed to do. Jesus made it very clear that we are not to lust after another person because if we lust after them, it's as though we've already committed adultery with them in our hearts. It's clear throughout the pages of the Bible that women are required to dress modestly. Not to work on the fleeting things of beauty which passes away, but rather to work on the unfading beauty of godliness which does not fade away. When we strip for show, the only healthy outlet for that is when we do it for our husbands or when we do it for our wives. Men, if you do it for your wife. Ladies, if you do it for your husband. <laughs> you, you, you gotta be careful these days. <laughs> um, but when you're out of money, Things that you would never do suddenly become attractive. It doesn't matter. God says we cannot do that. Therefore, it is our duty. It is our responsibility. It is our mandate. If we call Jesus our Lord, if we call Jesus our Master, which is what Lord means, That means we do not strip. We do not give people the opportunity to lust after us. I, I know making these videos is very tempting for a lot of you women out there. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to deal with it. I'm married. I'm taken. You can't lust after me. The only person who can lust after me is my wife. Again, I'm sorry for all you women out there. You're not going to get a stripping show out of me, though. No matter how much I need the money, I'm not going to strip. No matter how attractive we are, we cannot strip if we call Jesus our Master, if we call Jesus our Lord. God has forbidden it we may not do it.